it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. I'm at Ananda in the Himalayas. If you want to hear more about my experience, I'll slide the card in up there. Um, but the one thing that Ananda offers all their guests when they come to this destination spa is extra activities. And you've got from group yoga to working out, you've got the dancer talks, but you also have the option to learn how to cook some healthy cuisine in the kitchen with Chef Devaka. So this is probably going to be the most complicated. Right. Uh, yes, among the three, the most yeah. complicated. We are going to do a gluten-free ravioli. It's a steamed ravioli and uh, we are going to make it with rice flour. Okay, let's get started. Right. And a little water in the pan. A little salt. And some olive oil. Just uh, half a teaspoon of oil. So now the water is boiling here. And now I add the rice flour. And mix it. You can see it's very wet. Yeah. So I want it a tighter dough. So I add more rice flour. I mix it again. A little more rice flour. On a small thing. So now uh, we can see it has come together like a dough. A little oil on the surface. You can just bring it together. Knead it softly. So dough has to be covered. We don't want the dough to dry out. Uh, so now, uh, step 2 of recipe, uh, we are going to make filling for our raviolis, spinach and mushrooms. So a hot pan, little olive oil, garlic, chopped garlic, onions, chopped, right thyme, some mushrooms. So these are butter mushrooms uh, which have been sliced. To salt to mushrooms, uh, this will allow them to release the water fast. High flame. So we have shredded the spinach. Now I'm adding little chili flakes uh, for the flavor. Black pepper. All our fillings in this bowl over here. I'm going to add a uh, little parmesan cheese and some freshly grated nutmeg. Nutmeg powder. Mix everything. So now two steps of the recipe has been done. Uh, we have our dough ready. We have our filling ready. So now let's make the raviolis. I'll show you a very old, very classic uh, technique of making these between two sheets of leaf. So uh, we are going to see that today. Uh, the traditional method of doing it. So I, I have a banana leaf here. I'm going to just uh, cut it into smaller pieces like this. I'm going to take one sheet of paper. Apply a little oil on it with just few drops and spread the oil. So dough has to be covered. We don't want the dough to dry out. So that's why we have kept it covered uh, in this piece of cloth. Now you make small dough balls. So one sheet of leaf. I keep it here. The oil sheet of leaf on top of it. Press it a bit and then now roll it like a bread. You can peep in to see. So that oil on the one sheet that mm -hmm. prevents it from sticking. Yes. So now I take the top sheet off which is oil on it. Mm -hmm. I take a spoon full of filling. I put it here in the center and I fold it in half. Press the edges and it comes like a semicircle mm -hmm. and I use, I cup my hands and seal the edges like this. Mm -hmm. Now I just keep it here, we'll make few more and meanwhile we should have our steamer on. Alright, chef's called me in, it's my turn. Oh, was I watching? Ah uh, yes, <laughs> so what dry sheet of leaf? No, there's no oil on that one. Yes. Roll that up so you don't want that to go dry. And roll it? Yes. Good tip, that's right. Press and roll, press and roll. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Now place it in the center. Put the oil leaf on the top. That's right. Now press in the center with the hand. Try to flat it to the hand and now use the rolling pin. Okay. See, we are all It's quite perfect around? in the first time. <laughs> can go anywhere. Anyway. Anyway. Now we can remove the top sheet. Okay. And now fill in the center. Mm. Hold the leaf. 
one pound here. Yes. So that the filling is in center and the dough seems in center. Yeah. So that's fine. And we lay that, that's right. Yes. We lay that. How long do we lay them for? No, so uh, we just leave them uh, till the time we were making more. Now they are ready to steam. Yeah. Are you seeing them in there? Yeah, in, in the leaf. leaf, in the leaf, yes. Oh, I didn't put that together. So now uh, we have our uh, raviolis uh, rolled and you know uh, sealed in here and now we are going to steam them for about 3 to 4 minutes. Just place them in here, cover them and let them steam for 3 to 4 minutes. Right, uh, so meanwhile our raviolis are steaming there. Uh, we are just going to do a quick sauce. So this is the orange and basil sauce and uh, let's start with it. Little olive oil in the pan, just some chopped onions. Now I'm going to add some orange juice here, some fresh orange juice We chop some skin as well and add some skin as well in there, it gives a good flavor Some lemon juice as well uh, This is the orange and basil emulsion basically Little salt Black pepper some cherry tomatoes and I'm going to take some basil leaves basil leaves in now flame off and I add some butter and now off the flame I just swallow the pan to make an emulsion if I cook it on the flame now the butter will split so we do not want that I, we want to create an emulsion so this has to be done off the flame in a hot pan only so we can see it's already emulsifying. Yeah. So now we take some walnuts and we just crush them and we add it to the sauce. So here our sauce is ready. It's time to take it out. Take these out. So we can serve them with the banana leaf as well and we can peel the banana leaf off and serve them off the leaf as well. Take the ravioli on the spatula. Put it on a plate. And for the garnish, I'm using some microgreens. I have uh, some pea shoots here. I'll just randomly place them. Yeah, that's our gluten free ravioli. If you'd like to see my full experience, I'll slide the card in so you can have a look. Don't forget, I make videos about paleo beauty and lifestyle. And if you pop over to Instagram, I do. You see me dance every now and then. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.